a quick thing. I was no great cricketer. I started Slaas College. The way I didn't like to, I didn't like no hard ball hit me. So I make sure I feel in way out on the boundary. But since it's a cricket thing, I asked Red Pereira, who's another cricket icon incidentally, strange enough, I show you can but one stroke. <laughs> but that man has seen more cricket than probably any even the cricketers. The man has announced in every country, as you know that. He just wrote a book called Living My Dreams. Beautiful book, very inspirational about his life. 1950, England versus the West Indian Lords. Ramadan running through the English team. Edward's about to go to bat. As he's walking out, Edward's wife phoned the pavilion to speak to Edward. So when he answered the phone, excuse me, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm trying to, get to speak to Mr. Edward. Sorry, sorry, lady. Um, Edward's now walking out in the field, going out to bat. Uh, who's bowling? Rabbit in. She said, okay, go hold on. <laughs> I don't know the year, I don't know the year, Shell Harris was a young coming Bayesian off spinner. Herman Griffith was captain of the team, playing England, Kensington Oval. <laughs> Lunch time, Shell didn't get back, bowling. Tea time, they didn't send in. Do the tea, the other cricketers tell Herman, get a, get a chance, we're doing good, get, get a young boy. So, as they walk on the field, Griffith turned to Shell and said, Shell, let it warm man, do your thing. What feel you want? Shell said, I want a deep long on. A deep mid wicket. I want to slip feet deep. I want, a, <laughs> I want fine leg, deep fine leg. Deep long on, deep middle man. Shell, what said? Shell came back to blow me ball, God bless me, and you can go and blow only ball short. True, I hear you the true stories. True story, true story, true story. England, Destiny's in GCC. England batting, two guys batting. Hey, Western is bowling. Suddenly, the Western is ups, umpire and everybody, put handkerchief to the head and, put, and run for the pavilion. Left it too, I went <laughs> And then the rain hit them. <laughs> the Westerners hear the rain coming over the game for me. Coming over the drink sheet to GFC. And you know, Westerners don't have waterfall when them rain on a hot day. They get lying in coal. We just get lying in coal. Come on. Cricket, boy. Cricket is a lovely game. Lovely game. Got some nice things. I know that, um, I know that. Ian is a kind of cricket philosopher. Very, very interesting. Um, how he makes cricket like poetry. Poetry. When Ian writes about cricket, he talks about the blue Elysian clouds, colorless clouds going over an azure blue sky. <laughs> the panoramic movement of the are like poetry in motion. Um, but other people see cricket like a moral, like a story, like a fake, like a fairy story, a traditional tale. You've got a moral in the end. There's a poet called Johnny Agar. Ian, you know him good. Johnny Agar, Guyanese. He and his wife have written about 50 books, published them in England. Poetry, stories, novels, children's stories. Cricket can be told in all kinds of ways. Tiger Batten. Tiger Batten and Nancy Bowling. And it's cricket, lovely cricket. Cricket, lovely cricket. Hit it, hit it. Pirate shouted to Tiger, knock me for four. Tiger gave a roar. Lay a Nancy Bowl one full toss. See if the ball don't last. <laughs> for a small peep, no. The crowd shouted, no. Tiger prodding and Nancy running. And it's cricket, lovely cricket. Cricket, lovely cricket. Second ball, bowl. And it's a, why? Third ball ball is the next. Why? And Nancy playing for time. 
Can you go and take a note of Nancy Tricks? He's got six or six. And Nancy gave an next roar, but he yet to score. But he bet that a, he could hit a Nancy for four. And Nancy said, hmm, wait and see. I know I look in ten, but I really could spin. <laughs> Leg break, off break, and a boogie. Meanwhile, Empire Turkey, watching keen, 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 because you know Nancy don't play clean. Meanwhile, monkey behind the stump, <laughs> Fourth ball bowl is the next, next. Fifth ball bowl is the next, next. Why? <laughs> Tiger got him on my tricks, he could lose the bet. There's no one ever going down the wicket, going for a hit. He ain't taking no more Nancy tricks, it's six or sticks. But a Nancy nimbly, spindly, hands spinning at a rate. And you know a Nancy got it. If you see a Nancy, how he's spinning. Like it's where you leave it. And the ball you leave on a Nancy hand at all, at all, at all. <laughs> oh, up to this day, Tiger's still waiting. <laughs> the moral of the story is that the West Indians keep you waiting. Waiting. You can send an email to a fellow. You're here no answer. You meet him in the street four weeks later. He said, Ken, Ken, I'm glad to see you, boy. Remember the email you sent me? I'm glad to see you. And then you get it. They keep you waiting. Nothing about it. this waiting thing. We was to start at 7 o'clock. All right? All right? People come late. But they know they let you. We just buy $500 below the watch to see how late we come. <laughs> if we got going to a bus stop, an 8 o'clock bus, and we get at 5 past 8. We don't say we're late, we say the bus left me. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you think it's easy? All right, all right. Let me get, let me get into this. The last one. Since it's Red Square, we're talking about. Now, I've got to keep this among us only. Red is my good friend. If I have brothers, Red is my brother. But I have to tell the story. Reds used to stammer, you know that? Stammer bad. You want to know Reds get it announcing? One day, he always a, he's a sports buhichi, buhichi. He just go, Reds sport, horse racing. And he go up and he climb up the steps of the announcer. Like, like who, who's the Lionel? Who's the announcer? Lionel or Lloyd? Lloyd, Lloyd? Lloyd. Lloyd was announcing horse racing. Down the track in Guyana. Down, Red standing for the back watching boy, listening and listening. And look who gets it, get down, say this. So he looking up to see what boy, all he sees reds. So he know, get your reds, take a while. Reds and see no, he ain't no horse for, for donkey. <laughs> but reds get a chance. They, they're off. So, so something is lead, leading. So something coming second. Something is running around outside. Something going. So something going to run the, the, the five miles, two miles. For, something coming. So something coming behind. Something leading neck and neck and neck. Something, something coming around. Something, or something for, comes first. Something comes second. And something comes third. We have to wait for the official announcement. Keep the snow talks at the red bush, I think. Red is a good friend, okay. Brilliant man, brilliant man. You saved me many a time in Barbados.